I actually just entered a 7x Dogecoin loan with 8k in margin. This is the time to take as much risks as you only can. This is the time to be bold. I do believe meme coins will outperform the shit out of each and every narrative. The most performing assets in my portfolio are meme coins. The what? market is dumping. You should sell right now. Open up your wallet, your MetaMask or an exchange account. Click trade spot. Press market. Press sell. That's the only right thing to do at this stage. You will buy back lower? Of course you will. In this video, we will dive deep into the current market situation. I will tell you why we will not be dumping and we will be pumping very, very soon. I will also provide you with seven strong ecosystems to buy altcoins in. The market is hinting them to you right now. If you are watching this video, this is your call. Buy now. Don't think. A lot of market participants are waiting for lower because they were taught by previous cycles to do so. I think this is a mistake. Buy now. This is your call. What to buy, you might ask. I will provide you with the response to this question as well. Right now is also a great time to double down on your winners. It might be controversial, but I urge you to sell your losers and double down on your winners. Imagine the amount of value that you're actually receiving on this channel. I'm not only telling you to buy, but I will also tell you what to buy for the maximum upside at this stage. If you would like to receive this type of information moving forward, feel free to subscribe and click this notification button not to miss upcoming uploads. I have something very, very interesting prepared on my end. I actually just entered a 7x Dogecoin loan with 8k in margin. Digen, I'm just playing with this money. Only repeat with your own risks. I do understand I might get liquidated. My liquidation is 0.15 pretty much at this stage. I do understand it's very risky. I'm just showing that I'm trying to take more risks at this stage. It's also uncomfortable to me to actually be buying into things right now, but I do understand that this is the best time to buy. It would be very, very comfortable to actually be buying if we go lower. Everyone would be buying, right? This means that you should be buying right now, currently. Several ecosystems that I wanted to go through that are doing quite well. You have Tone, you have Stacks, you have Aptos and Sui, you have Phantom as well. We do also have Avex, which is pretty strong at this stage. We have Gaming, which should be doing crazy, crazy numbers very, very, very soon. And we see very, very interesting moves with Dogecoin and Floki. And the reason I'm not long in Dogecoin with a large amount of margin is because I have large loan opened with Pepe. And Pepe is essentially better for Dogecoin. Pepe is better for Dogecoin, Bobo is Pepe for Beta, Snibu is better for Bobo, and I have all these tokens. I have all these things to capitalize on Dogecoin surging up. So some people might say that I'm too greedy with me trying to loan Dogecoin at this stage, but I still think, but I still think that it should be doing quite well. We do have interesting things with beam down 8% at this stage. And you might say, oh, it's bearish for gaming and things like that. We might be at the point where liquidity from beam would be flowing into gaming lower caps. And most of us most likely were sitting in the lower caps at this stage. Therefore, it makes the most sense for us to actually expect gaming surging up. The main idea I was showing you banter bubbles and I was showing you these tokens and I specifically mentioned these ecosystems is because the tokens that are showing the most strength at this stage that are not correcting but surging up despite the market correcting at this stage, they will lead the upcoming narrative moving forward as well. Let's actually go through each and every ecosystem and I will provide you with better plays that you might actually be getting into if you want to get safe leverage position on the ecosystem in the first place. The first thing is Tone. 
Tone Foundation launches a 115 million community rewards initiative. That's one of the reasons why Tone is pumping at this stage. Tone has crazy potential. They have 900 million users. They're very, very serious about their blockchain. And in order to get exposure to Tone, you probably know my strategy. You pretty much just buy largest blue chip meme coin of the chain. Right now, Rido is only at 18 million market cap. It was doing crazy, crazy numbers recently. It was at 0.28. And it's already a nice correction, kind of surging back up because Tone is showing a great strength at this stage. I think Rido will be doing quite well along with this, along with the Tone ecosystem long term. I think Tone might be a very, very nice ecosystem for this run as well. Ecosystems number two and three, Aptos and Sui, they pretty much use the same development language. They have the same VCs, most likely same market makers, teams, they're pretty connected as well. These two projects, they're just purest VCs pump and dumps. In the last cycle, we had Solana. This cycle, we have Sui and Aptos. Purest VCs pump and dumps, according to the book, right away. You might ask, Stan, but why do you participate in this thing if it's a VC pump and dump? Because I do plan to enter and I do plan to exit based on the money that VCs would be spending on marketing of these two things essentially attracting a bunch of liquidity into the whole thing. I don't need the same level of liquidity that VCs essentially would need in order to dump this token. They definitely need to pump this project way, way higher, both of them, in order to be able to essentially dump on retail who would be entering these tokens as well. I have around 100k position on futures with leverage, with SUI and Aptos, I think it's around 20-25k at this stage. We recently have some bullish news for Suyu. Misna Labs has launched Pilot Fish, Outer Scaling Technology on Suyu. What you need to understand, all this news, they're bullshit. They're just illusions in the first place in order to make you buy into this whole thing. And what's most important, it is actually to make you hold into these projects as well. Because it, it's not enough to, to only, because it's not enough to only persuade you to buy. The most important thing for them is, is actually to persuade retail to hold because they would only be able to dump on retail if retail would be holding, believing it's new technology, best user experience, nice development language and things like that. I understand this. I'm following this thing and I do think that as more retail would be entering this market, the more the SUI flywheel would essentially start to grow and the more people we would probably start seeing to speak about this project, right? Next thing is Phantom. Phantom is doing quite well this stage. So it's definitely showing strength. And the main reason is because they also have some bullish news. The fact that uh, they're kind of doing some type of layer two Sonic implementation of new technology. There are actually several memes that are quite interesting on, on Phantom in the first place that you might want to check out yourself actually. Meme on Phantom that is close to blue chip is F Sonic. It's kind of this meme because Phantom was speaking about the Sonic update for so much time already. Liquidity is 1 million, which is very, very nice. And market cap is $3 million only. It's definitely a very, very high liquidity meme. Therefore, it would be very, very hard to push the price up. Because in other memes, if you have around 1 million liquidity, you would have maybe like 10 to 15 million market cap. And if you're on Solana with 1 million liquidity, you would already have 50 million market cap, right? I think some meme coins on Phantom might be an interesting better play. If you don't want to kind of go that route, if you don't want to take all these risks, you can just buy the token of the platform, which is Phantom or loan it with leverage. Although definitely in February, it was a better time to do so. And even better if you're holding this thing from October. But some people, they are projecting $3 for Phantom in this cycle. Be careful with Phantom, I would say at this stage, because it definitely was surging up quite nicely and we might actually be seeing Phantom to consolidate for some time. I would say that upside for Phantom might be quite limited. At the same time, market cap is only at $3 billion at this stage. As a layer one, layer two on Ethereum, if they would become layer two on Ethereum, still not so large market cap.
Next thing we have Avex. Avex is EDM based layer one. It's kind of like this better play for Ethereum as well, but you have to be careful with Avex as well because the market cap is $20 billion as well. Interesting thing with Avex is because it installed in the minds of the public to shift the profits from Solana into Avex once Solana is consolidating because this is something that everyone was doing in the previous cycle as well. We see that Solana is at 175 bucks. No one wants to buy Solana at this stage because they understand that upside might be quite limited with $80 billion in the market cap at this stage. Therefore, I think Avalanche Avax is just a very native and nice peak right now. We should be seeing it we should be seeing it at 100 bucks at certain stage. I would say that conservatively 70, 75 bucks in one to two months is very, very nice on AVEX. And we would essentially be expecting the surge of meme coins on AVEX as well. I do believe that some of the actions of I do believe that some of the meme coin action would essentially be transferring to AVEX as well. And I would also expect AVEX gaming to do quite well short term as well. AVEX is showing itself nicely on the current correction. Therefore, we do expect for it to be strong in the next leg up as well. Next thing is Stax, STX. If you know my ultimate portfolio for this cycle to outperform each and everyone on the marketplace and you can just buy, delete YouTube and do nothing, it's Pepe, Arbitrum, Stax and Sui. Only four projects you need to buy and you will pretty much do very, very well, even from these levels, because Stax just had a crazy run. 7x for 5 billion market cap token from the lows. Very, very nice. Surging up, showing strengths right now. In most of these trends, it's connected with the rumors news of Nakamoto upgrade launching quite soon. I think in April, actually. And Nakamoto upgrade claims to decrease the transactions time to 5 seconds per transaction, which would be so, so crazy. If they would be able to do this on Bitcoin layer 2, as I was mentioning in my previous videos, I do believe that Stacks might easily be reaching 40 billion market cap, 100 billion market cap, and I'm very, very bullish on this token and on this ecosystem long term. If you want to have some better place for Stacks, you can check out Arcadico, which is a lending platform. You can check out Alex Lab, which is DAX on Stacks, and you can also check out Welsh, which is the main meme coin on Stacks, although Welsh is already at 80 million market cap which is still very, very nice. Going down currently, but usually when Stacks is surging up, Welsh is doing quite well, quite nice as well. Last but not least, we specifically have gaming. I do believe that gaming should be surging up quite soon. I, I almost feel it because we had quite some time from consolidation. We have this catalyst in AVEX pump. We had several nice launches. We hear some news about Sandbox, about Gal, about these older players in the market as well. And we have all these influencers with largest channel speaking specifically about gaming as well. I have a feeling, I do believe that AI might start to consolidate for some time and profits from the AI, from one meme sector, they would essentially be directed into game, to the other meme sector in the first place. One thing I wanted to share as well, specifically on the topic of outperformance on this market, and why I'm telling you to, to actually take as much risks as you can at this stage, because usually what people do, especially retail, and definitely you yourself, because we are all retail in the first place as well, when we are at the start of the cycle, when we don't have a lot of conviction, we're trying to protect our money. We are very, very safe. We are not putting our money into meme coins. We are not playing with leverage, despite the fact that this is what we actually need to do at the start of the cycle. This is exactly the time to take as much risk on as only possible. You're counter trading the market sentiment like this. And when we are going closer, to the top of the cycle and to the reverse into the bear market, then you actually need to start to behave safely, to take profits, to reposition into larger coins and things like that. I do think that right now we should take as much risks as we only essentially can. It's even hard personally for myself at this stage to put additional stables into the market currently. I am 90-80% in the market 
at this stage and it's very very hard for me to actually psychologically to enter more money into the market because i think as everyone else oh i would probably be able to buy lower and this is the exact time where you understand that most likely no most likely you won't be able to buy lower because everyone else on the marketplace they have the same thoughts which means that if the price would go down there would be a bunch of people who would be buying as well there are so many people sidelined you can't imagine how many people are still sidelined and how low the percentage of retail that we have in the market at this stage crazy things will be happening this year this is the time to take as much risks as you only can this is the time to be bold not at the top where everyone is screaming wow we are going to 1 million bitcoin we will never see a correction it's so great everyone is making money no then you would need to take profits right now is the time to be as bold as you only can in connection to this topic some things on meme coins as well i know i'm talking on meme coins in each and every video but i do believe meme coins will outperform the shit out of each and every narrative this is so true my portfolio only needs boba billions fat billions and billions wolf billions Rido billions bread billions pepper trillions i do believe that this man with this portfolio if he will be holding if this is everything that he only has in his portfolio he will outperform the shit out of 99.9% .9 people watching this video right now it's pure outperformance at this stage bobo is better for pepe pepe members fat is a blue chip token on sui andy is a meme from original artist of pepe on blast which is ethereum layer 2 wolf is the same on avex original character from the original artist of pepe rido is the meme coin on telegram so if tone will be doing well rido will be doing very very well as well brett is the meme coin on base also a friend of pepe from the original artist and pepe this meta is essentially piggybacking a lot of pepe tokens and on top of that you have fat from sui which is blue chip meme coin on vc scam pump and dump project that will at least 10x in this market from these levels right and Rido as well essentially expecting that Ton will also be doing well so this one is Ethereum, Sui, Blast, Ethereum Layer 2, Avax, EVM base chain, Ton, Base, Ethereum Layer 2 with a bunch of crypto users, a hundred million crypto users that will be onboarded in crypto through Base. Pepe, ultimate new meme coin of this cycle which will be outperforming each and every meme coin at this cycle as well very very interesting this is something from dream crypto channel i wanted to share as well take memes serious once people who are holding old stuff like qnt and dot whatever realize they've almost wasted a whole cycle they will capitulate and end up taking max risk to make up for it retail with a thousand bucks doesn't care about your ethereum or layer one they want the quick come up meme coin millionaire stories it will make them think they are the ones who can achieve it too. Jealousy, capitulation, Dunning, Kruger, Wells effect, desperate retail, large cup holders wanting to take risk, rising optimism, meme coin, super cycle. This is my thesis from day one on this channel. The most performing assets in my portfolio are meme coins. What I am doing currently, I'm pretty much selling my losers and buying meme coins i'm waiting for some of the losers to play out for example i have some gaming tokens i would be waiting for them to play out in the upcoming leg up and then i will be taking profits from there heavily and repositioning into blue chip meme coins on the chains on the narratives that i think will be doing very very well and i think i will be showing pure example of out performance on this market this is my second cycle I'm front running as this is my third cycle eventually because I do understand that the whole crypto is a scam. I do understand the concept of house money as well. It definitely makes sense that people holding all the projects that will underperform Ethereum, they will capitulate eventually and they would be looking for max risk opportunity. 
all these people, watching all these influencers at this stage, speaking about previous tokens of previous cycles, with VCs from previous cycles, dumping on them at this stage, believing that these tokens, they will be showing 10 axes, 100 axes, all these people, they will capitulate. They will flow to watching influencers who are actually making money in the market right now, and they will go for high risk opportunity, serving as exit liquidity to my strategy. I'm honestly thinking to reposition some of my longs into high risk meme coins as well. I know this market, I know we can go to zero anytime. I'm willing to play the largest upside. And be very, very careful. I'm not talking about shit coins. I never bought anything on Solana that made me money. <laughs> Everything I bought on Solana just went to zero. Maybe that's why I'm speaking about this chain the way I'm speaking about it. But it is severely connected with my strategy. I'm willing to buy blue chip meme coins. I'm willing to hold them for a long, long time. And I'm willing to exit them at the top of the cycle as high risk assets where a bunch of people will be entering because they will feel FOMO, because they will feel they missed out, because they will be playing with house money, thinking that the whole thing is a casino, and they can throw some money out and see what will be happening. Whilst I will be taking profits on their money, essentially, as well. We do have the same amount of VIP members as yesterday. Well, higher chances for the current people to win as well. Number 89 is the first winner, very, very close to uh, other winner as well. Number 204, the second winner right here. Let me actually mark you as well. And last but not least, 203, very, very nice. Guys, all this video, today video is, oh, I'm sorry, I was not sure my screen, but yeah, here is 203, 204 and 89 and here is random number generator with the last number 203 so you would have to believe me on this one right all this video is not a financial recommendation but i do believe you need to man up and you need to buy you need to buy right now it's whole just a giant scam the fact that all the markets are surging up currently and crypto just stays at the current levels we should be seeing a crazy leg up quite soon. And this bleeding, it might continue for next week, right? Maybe even the first week of April. But eventually, it will stop. And the longer sideways consolidation will happen, the larger the pump will be. Because what consolidation means is that weak hands are selling, but the price is not going down, right? Which means that strong hands are buying. And then we will pretty much have critical mass of strong hands buying and weak hands, they will form in back higher than at the prices that they sold initially in the first place, right? And we will have this crazy next leg up with a bunch of retail coming back as well because you have to understand that retail came in, Coinbase application was at 250 and it actually got like rank 49 and right after that like right now it's back at 250 so retail they came in and then they left but now they will be coming back and they will be coming back in larger chunks and larger portions as well thank you very much for watching this video i will be seeing you tomorrow thank you Bye bye